Hello, welcome to episode 122 of the Craft House Magic Podcast. My name's Ellie and I'm coming to you from Norwich and Norfolk and today is the 25th of June. So welcome everybody. I hope you've all had a lovely crafty week since the last time I've spoken to you and I'm here to share the things I've been making this week. So this week I have some knitting, some dressmaking, I have some confessions. <laughs> I have some information on my shop to update and that's it so it's a relatively short one this week I'm afraid so you can find me on Instagram Ravelry and Facebook as Craft House Magic and I have my own website crafthousemagic.co.uk where you can find my hand dyed yarn handmade project bags stitch markers higher higher knitting needles and also fabrics um we have a couple of make-alongs going on in the Ravelry group at the moment we have the spring shawl along which runs until the end of this month so you've still got a little bit of time uh, to come and chat away in the Ravelry group um, and I will be drawing for prizes at the end of the month um, so watch out for that and I also have this summer sock along going on in the Ravelry group so that runs right until the end of August so you still have plenty of time to come and join with that knit along. So my lovely friend Helen, uh, who's Josie Kitten on um, Instagram, has donated a lovely copy of a gorgeous sock pattern, the inverse striations, and I'll pop a uh, picture of it up there so you can see what it's like and I'll leave a link in the down bar as well so you can find the pattern on Ravelry if you want to have a look at it um, but she's offered us a copy as a prize for the summer sock along so how appropriate is that <laughs> thank you Helen um, so let's get on with the knitting shall we I have been knitting basically monogamously on my Guanwin um, cardigan which is supposed to be a sweater pattern so I've done all of the main body and you can see that I've done a, a really cute one by one twisted rib um, and there's like a little bit of stockinette that sort of rolls up which I think gives a lovely effect. So I finished the bottom, um, the main body of the cardigan and I have pretty much done one of my sleeves so I have decided that I'm going to do three quarter length sleeves on this um, so because my body size is larger than my arm size I have had to um, decrease quite abruptly just under the arm there so it looks a little bit of a funny shape but I'm sure you're not going to be able to see under the arm I think that'll look nice when it's actually on um, and then I have done the decreases down to so it comes about there on me at the moment and I've just started the rib and it's the same rib as I'm doing at the bottom like that so this is the Guanwin sweater pattern um, but I'm actually making it into a cardigan instead so if you can see um, on the front there I've left a gap of stock in it so I'm going to be cutting that and steaking that later and I will video it so you'll see how I how I get on with it um, the colorway that I'm using is my own hand dyed yarn in the purple haze colourway um, and I am using my DK weight yarn in my merino and nylon base which I think will be lovely and cosy it's a little bit warm to wear at the moment so <laughs> uh, I'm sure it'll cool down by the time I finished it but one sleeve nearly finished so all I need to do is do the second sleeve and then I'll have to steak it but I think first of all I'll do the the neck because I've got a provisional cast on here so I need to finish the neck off and do a steak as well so maybe I might finish it by next week who knows <laughs> so that's how it looks I like looking at the back at the moment because um, you can see more of the the lacy bit which I think is rather lovely so there we go um, I'm sure I can finish that by next week what do you reckon so that's all the knitting I've been working on this week so because it's been a bit hot I've been um, looking through Ravelry uh, patterns and I found a couple that I really want to cast on so first of all is the V-backed tee and that's by Jamie Hoffman and I just think this is a gorgeous pattern so the the V is supposed to be for the back of the body but actually some people have worn it the other way around and I think that if I knitted it I'd have the V at the front because I do like a V neck I think that would be lovely to wear um, and then you can use lots of single skeins you've got in your stash for those so I have that on my sort of to-do list now. And also I really fancy doing the Wishes cardigan um, by Hohi Locatelli and she always does some gorgeous, gorgeous patterns. But I thought that this cardigan would be ideal for my wardrobe because that's the sort of cardigan I really like to wear. So that's 
that's another thing that I've got in my head that I want to do but I haven't decided what yarn that I want to cast it on in though so I have to have a think about that but I thought I'd just share um, those patterns with you because I'm really inspired to cast them on at the moment but I must finish my Gwanwin first <laughs> So that's all the knitting I've got to show you, but I do have some sewing, some dressmaking. I really enjoyed doing dressmaking over this weekend, so I'll get Barbara over to show you what I've been making. Come on, Barbara! Thank you very much, Barbara. Oh, she just looked nice today. <laughs> <laughs> so Barbara is wearing my Eve dress and it's a pattern by Sew Over It um, and it's a really pretty pattern. It's going to be a bit difficult for me to sort of show you in full so what I'll do is after I've recorded the podcast I'll go outside and do a few twirls in the garden with it on me so you can see what it looks like properly. Um, but it's basically it's quite a long dress that's a wrap over dress and it's got some really cute floaty sleeves. Um, so I've I've sewn it in a rayon um, and you can see how this sort of wraps over here and I, I think that the crossover is just so flattering I love it <laughs> so there's a little um, a gap in the seam here where the other tie comes round um, and you sort of put the ties around the back and then you can tie it on the side you could tie it in the front if you wanted to but I just think that's a lovely shape. Plus, if you went out for dinner in it, you could loosen it a bit. <laughs> Which I love the idea of. So the fabric that I used for this is a piece of fabric that I picked up from Fabricland, which was actually really inexpensive. I think it was about £5 a metre. So that's why I chose this um, to do a sort of wearable muslin in. Um, but actually, I think it fits really nicely, which I'm absolutely chuffed about. And I, I just... When I've got it on, I feel so comfortable. I feel that the sort of ties around the waist make me feel slimmer, <laughs> which is always good. <laughs> um, it's got a high-low hem. At the front, it's slightly higher than the back. Um, but there are other options in the pattern. So in the pattern, you have the option to do a sort of uh, three-quarter length straight sleeve and a straight hem, which is just past the knees. Um, but I just thought I liked the, the fluty the floaty floaty sleeves um, and I just love a high low hem I think they're gorgeous so this rayon crepe that I used for this is quite a sort of floaty fabric but I think it's it's not very very fine which I, I think is ideal for this sort of uh, dress because it just feels a little bit more um, substantial if that makes sense <laughs> rather than being super super floaty but I would like to try it in different rayon fabrics um, I did find that it fits really well around the neck. I think I was a bit panicky to think that this might gape. It doesn't at all. I'm really pleased with the fit of those. When I went to cut out um, my size on the pattern, I ended up choosing actually a 12 at the very top of the shoulder. And then I graded out to just over a size 20, which is the largest size um, in the patterns. Um, and I just, it fit perfectly. So I used the sizes on the um, pattern envelope um, to choose um, how I was going to cut out my pattern and I thought oh gosh it seems a bit weird being 12 on the shoulders but um, it fits lovely and I actually just to make sure that I was cutting out the right pattern piece I've got a bodice block um, that I would uh, actually drafted out myself and cut out in manila card I placed that over the top just to make sure it was going to fit and the 12 um, in the pattern sizes fit me just perfectly on the shoulders which is lovely so I've got quite narrow shoulders to the rest of them, my body um, so I'm really pleased I did that so if you haven't got um, if you haven't drafted out your own bodice pattern what you could do is if you have got a top that you've made that has really fits you really well you could just use um, the pattern piece just to lay over um, the new pattern that you want to try just to make sure that you've got the right sizes um, that you've selected I'm really pleased with that. Um, I didn't end up lowering the the hem at the front to account for my bust area because I do like it to be sort of higher waisted at the at the front, um, just because I find that a bit more flattering. Um, and I love these big long ties. I used the longest of the pattern pieces, um, which come up as a size twenty. I know that so over it have extended their pattern sizes which is absolutely brilliant on their newest patterns um, and I've bought the, the new capsule wardrobe pattern set um, 
which is up to a size 30 which is absolutely brilliant um, so I'm looking forward to making some of those pieces um, so there we are so what I'll do is I'll get um, I'll steal the dress off Barbara and do some twirls in the garden so you can see um, the length of the dress um, and how it looks on me as well so thank you very much Barbara So if you want to make um, a sew over at Eve dress too and you want to look what it looks like in different fabrics, I know that Sean from Kittenish Behaviour has, has a separate video on her, all her versions of the sew over at Eve dress and I'll put a link in the down bar to that as well if you'd like to have a look. I found it really interesting uh, to see what modifications she'd made as well. So I know that she'd actually done it all French seamed and done a buttonhole for the ties to come through instead of coming through the seam. Um, for this one I just overlocked the seams just because I wanted to um, do it nice and quick because it was a sort of wearable muslin but I might do some French seams on the next one and I'm very excited. I have bought more fabric which hasn't arrived yet <laughs> to do some more e-dresses um, but I'm so pleased I've actually found a dress pattern that I can make loads of. A bit like my Frankie t-shirt obsession. <laughs> so I'm really pleased about that. Um, I have um, I've bought some fabrics. Only one of them's arrived though, so I can only show you this. So I'm going to slide into my confession section next because <laughs> it's to do with dressmaking. So this week I went back to the Sea Salt website and I bought I bought six meters of fabric with these gorgeous daffodils printed on it, and this is a a cotton viscose material, so it's like a twill um sort of weave so it's it's quite a sort of um it's more sort of a cotton material than it is a viscose um but i just love the texture of this i think this is make a lovely holly oak dress by cashmere at patterns so i've bought this for the purpose to make the holly oak dress but i am going to test the pattern in um some fabric that's less expensive first because this come out i think i think it was 67 pounds for six meters <laughs> which I'm going to get a dress out of it and I might be able to get a skirt out of it as well so I'll hopefully get um, two garments out of that. So I bought a metre of this before when I did an order from Sea Salt um, and I just thought I loved it so much I needed to, to get in more fabric to make a whole dress. I think the holly oak dress I think I need five and a half meters for my size so I bought six meters because um, sea salt sell pieces in three meter or one meter pieces so I bought two lots of three meters because they're doing a deal at the moment that if you buy one you get the second one half price so if I bought two three meter pieces the same I got a better deal on it if that makes sense so I'm excited about that. Um, so I've also purchased, like I said, the Sew Over It um, capsule wardrobe pattern set. I think it was £30 and you get, I think there's two dresses, um, a few skirt patterns, a jacket. So I'll put a picture up here so you can see some of the variations. But I just loved the Alba skirt, so I want to make that. I've obviously got a bit of a thing about uneven hemlines on skirts at the moment because that's a bit longer at the back than the front as well. So I'm hoping to get one of those made soon. So I don't know what fabric I'm going to use yet. We'll have to see. Um, but that's another pattern I'm excited about. And another pattern that I've recently mentioned is the Fjord skirt by Closet Case Patterns. And I've, th I've thought about that for a while. I thought, oh, I really like that pattern. It's a wrap skirt with a pocket in it as well. And there's also a really nice variation where you've got buttons down the front of the skirt with two pockets. So um, I just loved it. So I've purchased that pattern as well. So that's part of my confession. It's a bit naughty. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought I've just because I was so pleased with my Eve dress I've just suddenly got this spurt of inspiration to make loads more clothes because I don't really have many dresses or skirts um, so I need a couple more in my wardrobe so I'm excited about those 
And last but not least, I have another confession. I have a beautiful set of minis from Becky from the Back to Blighty podcast um, because we did a collaboration with our Harry Potter, uh, What a Lot of Potter Cal, which I, we had loads of fun um, knitting things out of the Harry Potter Knitting Magic book. And Becky sent me these lovely minis. So Becky's got the most gorgeous Etsy shop, so do please go and have a look. And these are the most gorgeous um, colours. And the set is called Funny Way to Get to Wizard School. Um, and I just think they're lovely. Really gorgeous, sort of sky blue, grey, green, yellow and some red there as well. So I can't wait to cast those on. And she sent me a beautiful Harry Potter badge too. And the card was absolutely gorgeous, which I just have here. How lovely is that? Thank you, Becky. Um, so that's all my naughty confessions for this week basically the whole podcast is confessions isn't it this time plus i've ordered another four different fabrics dressmaking fabrics that haven't arrived just yet so i don't look so guilty until next week <laughs> um so there we go that's my confessions and i just have my shop update now um that'll be the end so if you're not interested in listening to this bit thank you for watching i'll see you next week um, but with my shop I've now divided my website into some extra sections so there's a separate section for my shawl kits um, which means that you can order yarns of colourways that I've already knitted up into a shawl so that you can see what they look like um, and also I've done a separate section for sock sets as well um, so that you can find those a little bit more easily so all of the yarns are under the section hand painted yarns but then if you want specifically sock sets there's a sock set section and um, if you want shawls there's a shawl kit section as well and I hope to get more shawl kits up there um, in the near future as well. There's six there at the moment though, so plenty to choose from. I'm adding two more sock sets to the sock set... <laughs> two more sock sets to the sock set section. I could really trip over myself saying that. <laughs> And they are the purple rain colourway I've paired with purple haze because I think that complements it nicely and also the saving all my love for you colourway I've paired that with purple haze as well um, of course though if you want a sock set out of a yarn that I've just got that isn't a sock set um, there's a custom order mini that you can add to your basket and then I can either choose a colour that I think goes well with it or you can say oh I like that colour that's within that skein can you pick that out and have the mini in that sort of as a contrast mini for, for a sock set so I hope that makes sense um, and lastly I've got um, a few more higher higher knitting needles because I'm out of stock of a few sizes um, but I'm restocking on a few more and I'm also including the 100 centimetre cables on the fixed circular needles for sock knitting that are ideal for two at a time socks um, and I've got the sharp ones in two two millimeters 2.25 millimeters 2.5 millimeters and 2.75 millimeters and I have the steel um, needles as well um, but at the moment I couldn't get all the sizes I could only get two millimeter and 2.75 but apparently the higher higher warehouse are having a restock in July so I'll be getting um, the remainder of those needles as soon as I can so I can keep you posted on the podcast when those come the, when those become available so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and i shall see you in the next episode bye